We live under the covering of a religion. Sometimes we live under a cover of our own self. And, and we, we, sometimes we can see that. Now, I'm not mocking none of the television evangelists, but a lot of times they get up and say things, but there's a covering, and it's not really like that they are on TV. This is also the same way with a lot of the people. We have recovery and say, well, I, I'm in church Sunday morning praising the Lord, but don't let me, nobody tell you I was living like the devil on Saturday night. <laughs> and this is a covering that we make on ourselves. And we can try to fool men. They were going to fool God and say, you know, we've got a covering on us. You can come on in. We're all right. We've been living under a covering for so long in the ministry that we don't know what is true and we don't know what is false. Amen? But we're coming into a time now that he is saying, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. He didn't say, he that hath an ear, let your body come in here. Don't let your friend tell you to come in here. But he said, he that hath an ear. There's no covering on that. There's no hearing aid on that. He said, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. And when the Spirit speaks to the church, do you know that it's going to be true? Yes. And what is the truth? Proof. Amen? We have proof here. Pastor said we got 100% of praying for people with the virus and they can't well. Proof. Yes. And this is what we're looking for in, in our walk in God. How can we hear a kingdom message unless we don't have the proof? How can we hear the kingdom message if we don't have the truth? Amen? Amen. The two work together. If I tell you the truth, you want to see proof. Amen? If I tell you, say, I'm telling you the truth, I'm going to go up there and walk on water. What's the proof? You want to see me do it. Amen? I'm a long way from that. Yes, don't ask me. Sure, what? But this is what goes together. And this is what became unbalanced when Adam and Eve made themselves covering out of fig leaves. And, and we have had a covering for so long and so we're so familiar with it that when our covering gets exposed, we blame each other. What, what was Adam's answer when God said, what are you doing, Adam? How come you're doing this? How come you're dressed like that? What did he say? That woman made me <laughs> What I like about this one, he went to Eve sure? and said, did you do it? And Eve says, yeah, sure did. Mm -hmm. I can say no more on that. But this is the proof. And this is what we're talking about. I want to give you truth. I want to give you proof. They were handmade. They sewed them together, these fig leaves. And they made their own coverings. Sometimes when we're walking in the Lord, and I've seen it in the ministry, they're not 100% serving God. They're not 100% in their walk. They don't have clean hands. They don't have clean heart. But they have a covering to make you think that I'm all right. I'm, I'm all right on the right road. But as you progress along, their fig leaf coverings become exposed. And the man-made covering that they have become exposed. And let me tell you what, now today, there is no more fig leaf coverings that's been done away with. But then we come to the other part. Okay, babe, come read some more. I don't need that. Did the Lord God make coats of skins and clothe them? Alright. The first sacrifice. The very first, because he sees skins had to come from a living thing. Amen? The first sacrifice was in the garden. The first sacrifice come from the Father. He's going to say, hey, i got to do something. They're trying to cover themselves. I'm going to have to step in here, and I'm going to have to do something. I'll make them cover it. That is why sacrifice is so important in the Word of God. 
sacrifice something that that you love dear